Chapter 727, Ming Yaxu. The old woman was astounded after being kicked back by the beast. She was a paragon yet was still blown back like this. One could easily imagine just how heaven defying this seemingly inconspicuous buffalo was. Out of consideration for this little girl, I won't kill you. However, don't try to provoke me. Even a lineage like yours is not worthy to be in my sight. Li Kai slowly uttered. The old woman's expression became a bit unsightly. No one had ever dared to speak in such a bold manner or look down on their lineage. But these words came out from Li Kai's mouth today. Grandma, it's fine. The peerless girl gently waved her sleeve and shook her head again after seeing the old woman wanting to give them another shot. The old woman finally stopped after receiving the command from her young miss. However, she was still cautious towards Li Kai because he knew too much. If necessary, their lineage would use absolutely any means necessary to silence him. Li Kai stared at the girl head. Then he walked from his carriage to her. The two of them stood face to face. It could even be said that they could feel each other's breaths. They peered into each other's eyes as if they wanted to read something within that they didn't want outsiders to know. After a while, Li Kai began to gently caress the peerless girl's beautiful face. Such an action was completely out of line and would be intolerable to any other girl. The old woman's murderous intent rose once again. Her young miss was not for anyone to shame. The peerless girl gently waved her sleeve again to stop the old woman. Meanwhile, Madame Ziyan was in disbelief. She had guessed the girl's background, but her young master actually still dared to flirt with her like this on their first meeting. What was even more astonishing was that this peerless girl didn't reject his advance. One must know that countless men in this world immediately fell in love with her at first sight. Even the most incomparable genius would instantly fall for her. Li Kai continued to gently caress her face with a very delicate motion as if she was his lover. At the same time, the peerless girl closed her eyes to feel his tender touch. It seemed that at this second, she was sensing his stroke while he was able to feel her heart beat. The scene became eternal, as if time had stopped. Both the madam and the old women were stunned while looking at it too. The old woman knew her young miss all too well. She had never been close to people, but today, she accepted this gesture of affection from a stranger during the first meeting. This is unbelievable. Tai Yi emerged from the ground to witness this scene unfold and was moved as well since he knew a thing or two. No one knew how long this affectionate scene lasted, but Li Kai eventually withdrew his hand. He gazed at the peerless girl inches away from him and gently shook his head to say, You are not a descendant of the Ming clan. Nonsense. The old woman cried out in shock after hearing this. Young noble Li, one can eat carelessly but cannot speak without thinking. This had something to do with a great secret that their lineage would absolutely not want outsiders to find out. The peerless girl gestured and said, Grandma, it's fine. Young noble Li is not an outsider, young miss. The old woman was dumbstruck after hearing this because that word had many implications and secrets within. The peerless girl stopped there and looked at Li Kai to introduce herself. I am Ming Yaxuo the Alchemy Kingdom. It is my pleasure to meet young noble Li, Ming Yaxuo, the main descendant of the Alchemy Kingdom, the number one beauty of the stone medicine world, a mysterious person who had always kept a low profile, although very few people had seen her true appearance. Her reputation was widespread in the entire world. Who in this world didn't know the name Fairy Ming Yaxuo, who didn't know about a descendant of the Alchemy Kingdom? Li Kai smiled and gently shook his head to say, No, little girl, to be more exact, welcome back, stay by my side from now on. Prior to this, he was uncertain whether they had met before. However, this familiar sensation and the unforgettable heartbeat that he knew so well, to him, it didn't matter if this peerless girl was Ming Yaxuo, the descendant of the Alchemy Kingdom, she was still her. I still don't understand. The contemporary number one beauty with unfathomable strength couldn't grasp Li Kai's intentions. He gave her a very familiar feeling, one of dependence and closeness. It is fine not to understand. The past is not important, you will understand in the future. Li Kai smiled. At this moment, he was in a particularly good mood. Li Kai stretched out his hand, and although Ming Yex was dazed for a moment, she gently touched his arm in a natural and relaxed manner as if this was how things should be. While looking at this scene, the madam, the old woman, and Tai Yi were all astonished. This scene was so natural that people simply wouldn't want to destroy it. This was the number one beauty of this world. Countless geniuses and imperial descendants wanted to court her but were unable to do so. At this very minute, she intimately held Li Kai's hand like lovers. This action was as affectionate as it could be. Any spectator would be jealous at such a scene. The younger generation would be driven crazy by the since Ming Yex was the goddess in many of their minds. At this point, the old woman noticed her young miss following Li Kai to his carriage. She was taken aback and hesitantly said, Young miss, I'm afraid this won't be good. Li Kai looked at the old woman who was nervous from wanting to protect her young miss. He only smiled and said, Hundred life definitely didn't reveal many secrets to you. You, you are. The old woman was astounded because just these words alone revealed a monumental secret. Even ordinary ancestors in their kingdom didn't know this. She was only able to become privy to it since she was the one who accompanied Ming Yex during her childhood. Your alchemy kingdom has no notable secrets to me. Li Kai sat on the carriage and said, Besides, you don't need to be so paranoid. I will cherish this little girl more than anyone else. My protection for her will far exceed the likes of what your alchemy kingdom can provide. Having said that, he gently stroked Ming Yex's hair. At this time, Ming Yex was sitting next to him while Madame Ziyan took the other side. Both of them were great beauties, especially Ming Yex who was especially peerless. Such a scene was incredibly enviable and jealous-inducing. The old woman stared at Li Kai for a while before choosing to be quiet. It was just as he said, there were many secrets that she did not know. For example, her young miss was said to be the descendant of the Ming clan. However, very few people in the kingdom knew that this was not the truth. 
Tai Yi looked at Ming Yex following Li Kai and couldn't help but wet his dried lips and murmur, Damn, so amazing. Is this actually happening? He knew a particular secret, but he was still in disbelief after seeing this scene since it was just too shocking for him. Ming Yex's eyes fell upon Tai Yi who still had half of his body underground. She revealed a faint, charming smile and asked, This fellow Taoist, have we met before? Tai Yi's expression greatly changed after hearing this. It was as if he had seen a ghost. He immediately waved his palms in denial and said, No, no, no. Fairy Ming is thinking too highly of this lowly one. This lowly one is only a small, insignificant and demon that has only heard of fairy's great name. This lowly one has never seen fairy's face before. Our meeting today is this lowly one's blessing that had been accumulated for three lifetimes. With that, he immediately drilled into the ground and escaped without a trace as if he was very afraid. Li Kai understood Tai Yi's action very clearly, but he didn't point it out. He simply stroked Ming Yek's jade-like hand while closing his eyes, seemingly caught in old memories. I have some questions. After a while, Ming Yek softly spoke to him. She was so calm and elegant that it would cause others to become intoxicated. Even a beauty like Madame Ziyan had to admit that calling her the number one beauty in the stone medicine world was not enough. I know, but none of that matters. Li Kai said with a smile, you will understand later. However, I have something to remind you of right now. Your alchemy kingdom has someone using the heaven suppression formation, aiming to capture me. Out of consideration for you, I will not pursue this matter. However, if there is ever a second time, I will overturn the alchemy kingdom. Overturn the alchemy kingdom. The old woman was upset at such words. She was from the kingdom and its direct branch at that. How could she be happy when Li Kai said such things in front of her? I know you are annoyed with me. Li Kai chuckled and said, If you can meet hundred life, let him know that your alchemy kingdom shouldn't forget your past mistakes. Don't forget the aftermath of the divine beast realm. Such words rendered her breathless because she had heard a few legends that were known by fewer than few people. Even the kingdom's big shots didn't know about them. Young Noble Li shouldn't blame Grandma. She is just very protective towards me. Ming Yek slowly said. Li Kai looked at the old woman and said, I'm not mad at her. If I was, then the Imperial Draco Bull wouldn't have simply kicked her away earlier. 